Yo guys, what's going on? Rizzo here, and today I got a 5.3 Ellie Shaman guide for you. Alright, so we're going to start off with the talents, and Ellie Shaman is kind of cool because there is some different talents that can differentiate, kind of making the playstyle more, I don't know, it can be different at certain times, which is kind of fun. So let's start off with tier 1. I always go Nature's Guardian. I mean, Stone Bulwark Totem, it's, it's good. But the biggest gripe I have with it is it can be purged, so I don't think that's worth it. And I just don't think Astral Shift on a 2 minute cooldown is worth Nature's Guardian, which really does end up saving your life a lot of the time. Alright, so, um, tier 2. I I avoid Frozen Power, I think of it more of as an Enhance and Resto talent, and I usually switch in between Earth Grab and Wind Walk. If you're not so hot with your um, purges on Freedoms, I would suggest Wind Walk against Paladin teams. But if you know, if you can purge like a maniac, which I've been working on, then Earth Grab can work against any team and it'll be, help you out a lot. And okay, on to the next one. So this one you can go either Totemic Projection or Totemic Restoration. I said those backwards. But Projection is really good for landing capacitor totems, which it does take a little practice, but it can be pretty good. But I think Totemic Restoration against Destro Warlock teams and um, Hunter teams is very good because you're able to ground more traps and silencing shots and Chaos Bolts, although Destro isn't really the best in threes right now, so more so for Hunters. And this tier, you can switch between any of these. All these talents are good in certain situations. I think LMO Mastery, it can be good if you know that you're not going to be getting trained at all, no melee on you whatsoever. It, you know, it'll increase your output when you're uh, free casting. Ancestral Swiftness, I'll get into that later. And Echo of Elements, this is really good for when you're getting trained. You can't cast anything because you're going to be getting your Lava Burst procs, right? And this can echo, well, no pun intended, off of your Lava Burst procs. And you can hit them with like two Lava Bursts when you can't cast at all. So that's always good. And for this tier, always Healing Tide Totem. Although I heard that it's going to be a baseline ability next patch, so I don't know what's going right there yet, but I guess we'll see. And this tier, you can go all three of these. I haven't done much with Primal Elementalist, so I can't really give a good input on that. And Elemental Blast is... This was what I was talking about with that special swim. This, if you can use these two in combination, you can line up a really crazy burst if you NS your elemental blast. So that's really good. And sorry, I just got a call from senses, but I'll answer that later. I tend to use Unleash Fury because look at Flame Tongue Weapon increases the enemy's damage taken from your lava bolt by 20% and from your lava burst by 10% for 10 seconds on top of the already I think it's 30% from Flame Tongue let's see if I can find it right here no I can't whatever but yeah you get the point it's it's really 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 OP so <laughs> all right now let's jump into the glyphs so I play lightning shield cap totem and some people play Shamanistic Rage instead of Ghost Wolf. I've tried it, but I really, I'm just not a fan of it. So I stick with Ghost Wolf. But, I mean, lots of the top tier Shamans are playing with Shamanistic Rage. You can try it if you want, but I really think it is nice to have that extra freedom. So, other than that, Lightning Shield, this is so, you know, this is kind of a no-brainer. You take 10% less damage. That's awesome. And Cap Totem, it would be near impossible to get a good cap totem if it went off if it took six seconds i think it is regularly to land off so forget about that all right so now let's talk about your rotation so basically you're gonna flame shock unleash elements lava burst on cooldown this is big look i'm already getting a million procs and your filler can be chain lightning or lightning bolt lightning bolt for single target or if you're trying to get quick stacks for your shield i suggest chain lightning and okay so you got your seven stacks you're ready to burst right so let's see I flame shock again for good measure, I unleash elements, I lava burst, and then I ascend, pop ascended, trinket, storm lash, and sometimes spirit walkers grace if they're gonna run, I just start going crazy right here, right, I still have my 7 stacks on my shield, and if someone's trying to get away, or they're gonna get away, I just, or shock them with that, and that's a crap ton of damage to be honest, and one thing you have to be really careful of is that your unleash elements increases the damage of your next fire spell by you know x amount i think it's 30 percent right 
So you, if you're not careful, you can accidentally unleash elements your flame shock like I just did, which obviously you want to save it for lava burst. So it's a 15 cent cool because it's a 15 cent cooldown. So that's something you want to be careful of. And all right, guys, I really hope this helped out. I'm going to be making more shaman guides just to help you guys out as I kind of get better with the class. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I hope you learned a little something.